know your IS code provisions short lecture series. In this short lecture, I will explain about load combinations. So there are load combinations which are given in uh, different different codes of construction. That is IS 456, IS 800, like that. And in addition to that, the combination including or involving earthquake loads are discussed uh, in 1893. So that is in clause number 6.3.1. So let's go into the details. Yeah. So clause number 6.3.1, that is load combinations. <coughs> what uh, code says is the load combinations shall be considered as specified in the respective standards due to all load effects mentioned therein. So that means whatever load combinations are mentioned therein. So in uh, uh, 456, uh, we have uh, dead load, imposed load, and it also refers to earthquake load as well as wind load. And uh, there is a mention that these two earthquake extreme, I mean, earthquake uh, load and wind load or extreme wind, they don't occur simultaneously. That means either earthquake or wind, one of these two under, uh, whichever is under consideration, you have to take. Okay. Then in addition to those specified in this standard shall be applicable, which include earthquake effects. So that means dead load, imposed load, as well as earthquake load. Then it also says that even when load, even when load combinations that do not contain earthquake effects indicate larger demand than combinations including them. So the provision shall be adopted related to design, ductile detailing, and construction relevant for earthquake conditions, which are given in this standard. So, and in this standard, as well as 13920, as well as IS 800. <coughs> Let's look at, uh, say, load combinations, which are given in, say, IS 456. So IS 456 load combinations. The set of load combinations to be considered shall be as given below. So what are the load combinations, general load combinations? First one is dead load plus imposed load. So this 1.5 factor is a partial safety factor or load factor. And then the second one is dead load, imposed load as well as earthquake load. So that means 1.2 times dead load, 1.2 times earthquake load, 1.2 times uh, imposed load. So why it is reduced? When more than two loads, load combinations are there, then the total value is taken to be 80%. So that means 0.8 into 1.5 is 1.2. Then the third case is 1.5 dead load plus 1.5 earthquake load. And the fourth combination is 0.9 times dead load plus 1.5 times earthquake load. So one may wonder why these combinations and how these combinations are, or what are the what is the rationale behind that? So let's look into that. Say ultimate load combinations, how these combinations have come. So let, when we look at the first case, that is dead load and imposed load, it means what structure is built and occupied, but there is no environmental load or earthquake load. So built and occupied. Built means dead load is there. Occupied means imposed load is there. So that's how this clause. So case one, structure built and occupied. So dead load and live load combination with usual partial safety factor that is 1.5, 1.5. So that is the first load case. Now let's come to the second load case. Second load case is what? That is structure is built, occupied and earthquake load or environmental load. So structure built, occupied plus environmental load action. So because three loads are there, so 80% of that 1.5 uh, load factor. So that is 1.2 dead load plus 1.2 imposed load plus 1.2 earthquake load. <coughs> what is the third load combination? Third load combination is structure is built, but not occupied plus environmental load is there. So fully built and not occupied plus environmental action that is earthquake load or we can replace it with wind load also, but this is, we are discussing about 1893, so at earthquake load. So dead load, full dead load, plus earthquake load. So 1.5, 1.5. So what is this fourth load combination? 0.9 times dead load plus 1.5 times earthquake load. That means what this is, structure is partially built 
and environmental action. So structure is partially built means what? So frame that is shell of the structure is ready, but there is no flooring, walls, all these things account for the reduction of dead load. So that means what? 60% of the dead load. So that is 60% of 1.5 dead load plus the full earthquake load. So that means 0.9 times dead load plus 1.5 times earthquake load. This is the rational behind these load combinations. And subsequently we'll discuss about if earthquake load is in X direction and positive X direction, negative X direction, positive Y direction, negative Y direction, how many load combinations have to be taken or how many load combinations for which the structure has to be uh, checked or designed. So that we'll discuss in the next lecture. So the intention of this short lecture is to help students and practicing engineers to understand IS code provisions in a better manner. So thank you.